Okay, so your team just drafted Cameron Dicker, securing the best name in this draft class for kickers as Dicker the Kicker is his nickname. However, there are a lot of questions that you might have. Who is this Mr. Dicker the Kicker? Is he good? Is he going to be a benefit to the team? So today, I'm going to tell you what you should be expecting. Cameron Dicker's career can be summarized in one sentence, and that is just clutching it. And if you want some explanation, it's no, he doesn't make a ton of clutch kicks. He hasn't had too many game winners, but his entire career up to his senior season, he had never broken out of the 70% field goal percentages. This year, his senior year, he had an 86% going 13 for 15. Also, he starts this year off going one for three and then clutches it for the last 12 kicks of the season without missing a single time. This is exactly what I mean. So for the most part, if you're expecting him to continue to build on this trend and keep getting better and keep making the improvements he does from game to game, year to year, you're in for a treat. This guy was looking extremely consistent, extremely clean outside of those first two games. The only two games in the season where he had a single miss as far as his kickoff leg, it is very serviceable. You should see him as a plug and play guy. And I think the biggest testament to this season that he had is that he actually had to overcome a good bit of adversity when they benched their starting punter and made Dicker take over the punting duties for the entire team. This is a huge detriment and mostly you'll see a guy's field goal percentages completely tank if this happens. Notably look at Jordan Stout with a 60 or 70 percent and Matt Ariza who also struggled on the field goal aspect of his game. Dicker stood up overcame these obstacles and was able to kick at an extremely high level despite having to also punt last minute. This is something I really admired at him. I think it's going to translate well into the NFL as you're constantly being faced with adversity, as people shift around you and things are constantly changing. And it's a good bonus in case somebody ever goes down, he has to take over. This is why I think Dicker is going to get picked up here soon. So just keep an eye out for him. And I promise you, if he goes to your team, you're going to be very, very pleasantly surprised. And he's three for three of the game. And you got to think TCU is going to score more points. 28 yards, and it's good. So the lead is nine.